Hello everyone. This is me Ayush and welcome to Code Supplement where we bring to you videos related to coding and tips and tricks. So today I'll show you how to concatenate rows in a CSV file in less than 10 seconds. I open the CSV file in Excel and this is how it looks. So this is uh, the before and this is after. So if you can see I have introduced a new column called serial number at the very beginning and at the end I've added a new column called end column. So if you have to do this with Excel this will take a lot of time but with the today's trick that I'll show you you can do this in less than 10 seconds. So today's video is not only for developers but also for general audience who wants to do similar kind of operations on multiple rows in a text file. So for today's example, we'll take a CSV file. So this is the CSV file. The size of the file is just 85 KB. I've taken a smaller file for testing because the video recording solution that I'm using is also consuming a lot of computation. So I'm taking a smaller size file, but you can do this with larger files. The solution that I'll be providing today is something that can be used for large files like 10 megabytes or so where Excel uh, it fails to do some operations because the file sizes are large. So this is the website from which I've downloaded the CSV file and this, the CSV file which I'll show you today uh, is basically uh, some research based data. I'll open that in Excel. So the file has been opened in Excel and this is the file with around 900 rows. So I'll show you the file. I'll expand the file to show you how the data in the file is. So this is the file. So let, let's just try to uh, insert a column at the end. We'll use the concat function uh, in the provided in Excel from Microsoft. So we'll do equals to concat and then press tab and then select the first column that I want. And then after that, let's suppose I need a comma. So I put in comma, double quotes, again a comma, double quotes and comma and then I add second column and I end this and press enter. So as you can see the two columns have been concatenated but okay let this took uh, this took some time right and then copying it to the end uh, the, will also take some time. So I'll show you a way today which will not take uh, this much amount of time and we can do this within less than 10 seconds or so. For that, we need to use sublime text. So I'll show you what sublime text is. So we'll just go and look at the website for sublime text. And as you can see over here, so multiple selections to rename variable quickly. So basically sublime text allows you to allow multiple, uh, to do multiple edits uh, simultaneously. For So we'll just, we'll start with downloading it for the Mac. So if you if you would be using Windows or Linux, you would be getting options uh, called download for Mac or download for Linux. Uh, I've just uh, I'll just open the file. So currently I have Sublime Text installed, but I'm showing you the basic setup process. If let's suppose you're starting the starting with the very first time. So to install, we just need to uh, move this uh, icon into the sub, uh, into the applications ac uh, section, but because we already have sublime text installed. So I'll just open the file directly in sublime text. So I'll go to my file, then right click on this and then open with sublime text and it opened the file within seconds. So one of the most uh, beautiful things about Sublime Text is that unlike any uh, word process, uh, any spreadsheet processor like Excel, which can take like five minutes to open a file larger than 10 MB, Sublime Text allows you to open the file within seconds. So now that we've opened the CSV file in Sublime Text, so what we need to do is install something called package control. So what you need to do to install package control is uh, press command shift and P and you'll see a menu like this and you have to type in install package control and if if you're using uh, Windows uh, you could use control shift P uh, for Windows and Linux it's control shift P uh, like it was for Mac command shift P so now it said that package control was successfully installed so what we need to do is let's suppose for now we'll uh, do something 
I'll show you first of all how to concatenate uh, some kind of uh, same data and let's suppose I need to start with these files. So one of the tricks with sublime text is first of all after selecting so to select all the files below the second line we press command shift and down. So the second uh, all the lines have been selected and then press uh, and press command shift L for Windows or Linux it's control shift L. So this is what uh, the trick of sublime is so basically let's suppose uh, if I press uh, the alt key and if I go word by word you can see that I could do some uh, do I have selected multiple lines at a time so let me just bring it to the starting of the line by pressing command and left and uh, let me just type anything so let's suppose uh, I want to introduce something into the CSV file so let's suppose you want to introduce your name so for now I have introduced my, my name or if possible you want to introduce your favorite company's name you could do that but but we will, will not do that so because we have to insert serial numbers we'll have a trick with us we, we installed package control and we'll be installing a package using the package control so for that again press command shift p for mac or control shift p for uh, linux or windows and then you'll see the option uh, when you type in install you get an option called install package so in install package uh, it, it uh, at the bottom uh, it's saying looking for repositories loading repositories and then once it has uh, loaded all the repositories we need to find something called increment selection so we'll just install it and to show you how the installation process is going I'll show you in the bottom you need not open this this is only for testing so it has installed and then reloaded all the packages and uh, for for inserting numbers let's suppose we'll just uh, for mac we'll uh, press command control and then i so and then again a space bar as you can see that i've introduced all the numbers I'll, uh, from 1 till i think it's still 899 uh, till 900 within seconds you need not do any kind of uh, extra effort like you do in Excel and let's just get rid of this this specific one and okay we need to put a comma here because we still need to make it a CSV and let's suppose we want to introduce a new comma at the end so let's suppose I press escape and at the end I say a new column here right so and again uh, to introduce data from lines uh, second and below you need to press uh, uh, select the line the first line and then hold shift key uh, and move to the bottom or if that's an effort like we said before for Mac press command shift down and for window windows I think it's control shift and then end it will take you to the end of the page okay end of the file and then press command shift L for Mac or control shift L for Windows and Linux and as you can see the selections have been uh, enabled so don't do uh, so press the right key and then uh, all the selection is removed right but the but the selections at the very end the line selection is removed but at the very end the selections uh, or carrots we call these carrots are still there right so we'll introduce something a new column here so I I'll put a comma and then I'll say end underscore column underscore here right I'll, and I'll just save the file and that's it that's that's it so we did it if if you know this tricks you can do this within like less than five seconds that's what I do usually if let's suppose I have a database I have to export uh, do some kind of operations on uh, database rows I just export the file in export the data in CSV file and then I do all kind of operations one of the tricks that I'll show you after this is how to format but for now let's just see how the file looks in our spreadsheet uh, application so I'll be testing it in Excel and let's see whether it has got a new column so, so like I said so it has got a new column serial number introduced and we wrote a new column here for the topic for the column name and then end column here right so this is one of the beautiful things right and bef and because I told you that I'll show you concatenation so we'll not we'll not just stop here so we'll go back here and then again select all okay we do not need the first column right we need everything from the second so 
go to the second line and then hold control shift uh command shift down for mac and uh i think it's control shift and page down for windows or linux and then again press control shift l and if let's suppose i want to do some kind of concatenations so what we'll do is basically let's suppose we want to concatenate these two columns right so what we can do is and let's suppose we want to concatenate the first and the last column so what we'll do is basically uh hold the control op uh, hold the control option shift and left so this will select everything below uh, everything left to the cursor i'll just press command c for mac which is copy and for windows or linux it's control c and at the end i'll say i'll put another comma and i'll just paste it and then i'll go back and then i'll copy let's suppose i have to use this end column after this right and then i'll copy this and then again i'll go to the end and let's suppose i have to do some kind of new additions here right so new additions here and then after that i need to put that column right after it right so i just pasted it okay we could have done anything what what you can think of like what you can do in excel with respect to concatenation that's possible here like the tricks are all available okay so let's suppose i'll i'll save this file so this file uh it's not this file it's not very clean and we we cannot see basically how like the data is so i have another trick for that so uh, if we need to install a package package called align tab so press command shift p for mac or control shift p for windows or linux and then uh type in install package and then yeah install and then you'll get the option install package choose that and at the bottom it's again it again said loading repository once it's done we'll choose align tab so i'll press enter and it's being installed by the time it's being installed let's just start with our formatting so for that we need to let's suppose if if we have to format everything uh, with respect to commas what we can do is basically press command f for find for the fi for the find window to open on the mac or for windows or linux you can choose control f and then at the bottom you can just type in comma so it will select all the commas and as you can see at the bottom it's saying 7302 matches so it has 7302 commas in the file and then at the top uh, and then at the bottom right you'll get an option called find all click on that and as you can see all the options with respect to comma are selected so we'll just remove this by just pressing one backspace and uh once it's removed we have to and uh, we'll introduce a pipe the pipe is basically uh the key which is right uh, above your enter and we'll add a space also so that it looks much uh, beautiful once we format it and by this time uh, align tab uh, package has been installed so what you need to do is just uh, do right click and then you'll see an option called align tab and then you'll get a lot of options uh, the first option is equals to colon fat arrows ampersand vertical bars so basically what we did was we added introduce vertical bars if by any chance you already have equals to colon or spaces let's suppose you're opening a tsv file then this this tricks works without any extra uh, introduction of vertical bars okay i'll click on vertical bars and and as you can see so it has formatted the file and i'll just uh, to make it neater i'll just go to view and then remove word wrap i'll just click on word wrap and the word wrapping will be removed and the file is formatted like it's pretty much into human readable form this is one of the greatest tricks that i think i i loved it like once i used it 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 has been very much beneficial for me this is one of the most uh, cleanest way to look at a csv file so that's it for today folks and i hope you like this video and stay tuned with code supplement uh, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe the channel code supplement because i'll be bringing more tricks trick videos uh that will improve your daily workflow i'll make a separate playlist with all similar tricks later and the link will be shown on the top right of the video